Ladies and gents, we've made it to the end of another month, which means, as is tradition around here, it's time to pick out the top five guitars that we've seen for this month, November 2021. Let's get in to this month's picks. Hello ladies and gents, Jack here from Peach Guitars. As always, I hope that you've had a fantastic month. Now, as we near the end of the year, 2021, it seems that the guitar deliveries just keep on coming thicker and faster than the previous month. So for November, once again, we had a great selection to choose from. However, I always like to try and mix it up a little bit and try and show you some things that maybe you haven't seen here on the main channel before. However, you may be unaware as well that everything that we get in stock that we film videos for now live in a different location here on YouTube land. We have our second channel, The Peach Boutique, which will be linked down in the description below. And that's the place where you can find the full extensive playing clips of every high-end guitar that we get in every month. So if there's some stuff that you haven't seen here on the channel, but you've been really wanting to hear it if you've seen it on our website, that's the place to go to check that out. Okay, so without further ado, let's just get straight into this month's top five picks. I think it's been a really great selection, so I hope that you enjoy the picks that we've made. <laughs> Okay, up first is a guitar that just squirreled its way in right at the end of the month. It arrived today, or it didn't arrive today, but today was the day that I got to play it, so it's still fresh in my mind. It's the first time that we've ever seen a USA model Wolfgang from the EVH brand. We've become very familiar with the specials and the standards, the kind of slightly more affordable models, which are fantastic. So I was really keen to see how they compare to their full-blooded USA counterparts. This guitar performed exceptionally well. It was really, really comfortable to play. Slightly different formula, and I really like that EVH had sort of taking some, not necessarily chances, because when Eddie was still alive, he did oversee all these different spec changes that the company have kind of moved in different directions with. It's not just all about those single humbucker maple necked guitars. They make some stunning instruments, obviously with two humbuckers, and in this case with a really comfortable, really great sounding and feeling ebony fingerboard as well. So interesting spec, great looking guitar. Fabulous detuner, little addition to the, to the Floyd Rose Bridge as well. So it's a lot of fun to play. And as is always the case with all of the EVH product line, they sound just as good as they look. Okay, so a couple of weeks ago we took delivery of, I think about 10 really, really cool, really interesting mayonnaise guitars. Now, it's only fair if I'm honest with you and say that these aren't typically my thing, 
but a lot of you seem to really, really love these guitars. And when I do get to play them, it's always a totally different experience than I get when I play anything else here. So if you're unaware of this brand, Handmade Guitars from Poland, um, since we took them on, we've just seen so many different styles of instruments from them. The Duvel is probably their most popular family or their popular line, so that's what we tend to see the most of, and that's what I get to play the most and they do have a very unique tone to them. It's not going to be for everybody, but if you like maximum attack, maximum articulation and clarity and comfort as well, it's fair to say, if you're way more proficient than I am in playing those more kind of contemporary styles, these really are probably the best boutique options on the market right now. So we had a really nice selection. They all look really cool, really unique and interesting. This one stood out to me though as being my pick for the month. <laughs> Okay, if you saw last month's top five, you'll remember that we included a PRS Special Semi Hollow, which had just arrived. It just made it by the end of that month, and it was a really incredible guitar. Little did I know that just after we made that video this month, the start of this month, an amazing PRS shipment turned up yet again. Chock full of private stock, uh, amazing 10 top, beautiful wood library guitars. This one was the absolute killer. I don't even feel I need to say too much about it, I just want you to look at it and hear it. All of them though, including several other special semi-hollows that didn't make the cut for this month, just incredible selection of instruments. But this Makati is one of my favourite models in existence anyway, the Makati 594, and this example of it with a Brazilian rosewood fingerboard, among other various, very special appointments, just absolutely smoked it for PRS this month. <laughs>
Now again, anyone who's been familiar with our output on the channel for the past few months will know that I've kind of had a little bit of a love affair with Gibson SGs this year. This is very much the year of the SG being the 60th anniversary of the model's introduction. However, with the reintroduction of the Murphy, well not reintroduction, but with the reappearance, I should say, uh, in more recent times of the Murphy Lab guitars, we've started to see more and more of those. I've started to kind of think that the 64 spec SG is the one, at least for me, and it seems to be the one for you as well, because whenever they come in, they disappear very, very quickly. This month saw the arrival of a Pelham Blue example of a 64 spec with a Maestro Vibrola bridge system, really comfortable guitar to play, Every SG has a very unique identity to it as well, sonically. And this one kind of spoke to me the most as being the best example of what 60s Gibsons were really all about. And it's Pelham Blue. So what's cooler than that? Okay, so the last of our picks for this month came from the Fender Custom Shop. It's fair to say that there's always some very, very cool, exceptional guitars that we see from them. Not too often anymore, though, do we see Dale Wilson guitars, which is quite sad. Uh, but on the other hand, when they do come in, they make even more of a statement. This one, I'm kind of on the fence about. I'll be honest with you, it's not my bag, but I'm sure it's going to work for somebody out there. Very cool example of a maple neck strap, which we don't typically see from Dale because everyone goes crazy for the early 60s rosewood board guitars, which are great, <clears throat> but I'm always really fond of maple neck strats. This one in a very unique, heavily relic desert sand finish as well. So it kind of looks unlike pretty much any other guitars that we've seen from Mr. Wilson in the past, but it sounds and performs every bit like all his other guitars do. Very comfortable to play, really dynamic instrument, and if you're into that kind of thing, aesthetically, it's going to tick a lot of boxes for you as well. But as always, let us know in the comments what you really think.
So there we are, folks. That is our top five picks for November 2021. As always, I'd like to know what you think, which was your favourite of these five. And indeed, if there's anything else that you saw on our website or over on the Peach Boutique YouTube channel that didn't make this month's cut, let me know and give us a very cool case as to why it should have been included in your opinion. If you'd like to find out any more information about any of these five guitars, they'll all be linked in the description box down below. So you can head to our website, check out the listings, check out the high resolution images, the extended playing clips of each over on our Peach Boutique YouTube channel, get pricing information, weights, all of that good stuff. It's all on the link down in the description below. And as always, be sure to leave a like. If you've enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit subscribe and ring the bell. If you're new to the channel as well, we'll look forward to seeing you for more content just like this in the future. And most importantly of all, I want to know your thoughts. So hit the comment section down below, pick your favorite from this month's video and tell us what you'd like to see in the future from this channel as well. So that's it folks. Have yourself a fantastic last month of 2021 and I'll see you right at the end for another top five once again. So take care. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.